Amen. This is Rick. Uh, I got a lot of replies on YouTube about uh, what I've done with my system. I ripped out the battery system that we had here before. It was a battery backup system and every time we had a storm it drained down the battery and it wasn't working efficiently. I still have the Zoller um, M53 pump in there and that I converted into an N53 with the float which you see right here. But what I did new is I installed this Liberty Pumps Sumpjet SJ10 and it works off of your your water supply. In some states you have uh, codes whether you can use this or not, check it out. The thing about this is, which is nice is it has its own um, it's like a check system inside, a backflow preventer which is built into it so that it'll keep uh, any of your domestic water uh, from backing up from sump water in the event that uh, something happened. But this stays fully charged at all times. Now the main system is right here and I have the electric turned off right now where this will be going on with the tether uh, float. So just to show you how this works once the water level comes up to this bulb here on the water backup system, it engages that. And as you can see, as long as you've got water supply, you'll drain your crop down in no time at all. Pretty simple to put together. Um, yet you wouldn't have to be a plumber or anybody with uh, tons of skills to be able to do this. I ran it in CPVC. Um, I put a union here so that if anything ever happens I can take it apart. I have Fernco fittings which are these fittings right here with uh, mechanical bands so all you got to do is take those apart and clean it out if you get any any debris in here. There's Fernco fitting right here with a coupling and a 90 you take that out. I piped it back here to where it goes out the house and then down into a ditch and here is a CPVC for the water supply for the backup system comes up to here. I soldered up here, put a uh, female adapter on and then just ran with a male adapter back out. Put a valve in to my domestic water line coming in. This is just a, a line I put in to fill up my uh, hot tub that we have down here and that ties right into the house system right there. But this has been a pretty reliable system. Um, I put this in when you had that little storm called Sandy come through here which really tore everybody up. Um, it did great. If I'd have had the battery backup system we would have been down. This will keep you going as long as you have your domestic water on. Um, you know barring that your domestic water line goes down which would have to be one heck of a uh, catastrophic situation for you to lose your your domestic water. But I highly recommend these uh, Liberty Pumps uh, sump jet systems. I mean they're great. This is the SJ10 model. Like I said, they come in an SJ10A, which comes with a water alarm that allows you to, to hear like an audible alarm if it goes off. Um, but I didn't need the uh, audible alarm, so I just opted to go ahead and get this one. Um, pretty simple to put together. Uh, here's the Zoller system plugged in, and you can watch in the crock when I go to plug it in. The float will go off, and you'll see that in action. The float's going down. And this is our main system. And like I said, the sump jet is just a backup system only if you lose your main system due to a uh, power outage. Well, I hope that helps. If anybody's got any uh, questions, I'll, I'll try to answer them. Thanks for watching.